Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic evening. Welcome, uh, back to Grey Dawn. We're gonna get the good ending. I have, like, two hours till I have to stream. I don't think... Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, so we're gonna have to... This fucking sucks on controller. Welcome. This place was my home for a long time. Oh. We are holding a tea party on the nearby island. We mm. can't start until everyone is present. My brother Alexander was left behind locked inside his bedroom. Can you open the doors and call him? Of course. How do I do this? Did it save my progress with the... Icons? Like, can I go back and get them? Is that what I'm seeing? I honestly have no idea. I'm fine with just playing it again, but... Oh, yeah, no, I got them all. Yeah, okay, so... Now, now we've got them all except for the one. It's right there. Okay, so it didn't save my progress. Oh, right. I don't know if I have to trigger those events. The gate's open, so... Great on speedrun tactics. What's over here? I never actually went over here. Does it just lead the same way? Lead to the same place, I mean? Oh, that's not modeled in all the way. It is a barely functioning bridge. Very cool. Superbly rad. You can just freely explore all this. What is that supposed to be? I don't imagine they thought most people would. 
I think they thought they would mostly just keep in a straight line and just do everything like you're supposed to. Because, you know, you're playing the game. You're taking in the story. And I finally have thoughts on this game as to why it bugs me so much. Because it, it does. It does bug me. Oh, I have to trigger that? Oh, that sucks. Was there an auto zoo? Because oh. I love God. Please! Some of the voice acting is a little funky. I don't think they I don't think they knew what they were That's why. So they used that clip twice, and they just cut it off before he said, don't do it. Oh, it means I gotta do the arc again. Oh, we can plow through that. That was... It was easy. I was just making it complicated. And... There she goes. Was it now? Is that all of them in this room? I think it is. Where's the door? Where's the door? What? Oh, do I have to close them? I don't remember doing that. What just happened? Why can't I leave? Did the game just glitch out? And now now I can't leave? Like what? Oh, wait, no, hold on. Did I put them back? No. What just actually happened? Oh. That's right. My bad. You must not fear. By transcending the earth. You understand that fear is for those who see only the material world. But you, you can see more. I don't have to do the arc again. You it's great. Maybe I do. Hold on. Do I not need to do one more after this? Is it just the three? No, I have four. There it is. Oh. 
So this is your hiding place. This is not a game anymore. Light all the candles, place the cross above all things. Oh, I need to... Are there any more candles? I don't think there are. I think that's it for candles. What I did wrong? A red rose. Mount Ethos Holy Cross. Oh, I had a shine within my heart, loving master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of my mind that I may comprehend your mysteries. In you, I see the light of life. Yeah. Uh, now with this holy cross. Page. Where? What? Ah! Now can I do it? No. Good day, bye. The room changed into a brothel. Last one, no, it was just a storage room for the church. Man, Corey's playing The Witcher 3. I bet that's a fucking good time. So you're not going to answer him, is what you're saying. Special thing I crafted for you, the key to our little secret. Spooky scary! Ah! This part's actually really cool. He who feed Adam and Jordan, slapped in the face, bride of the church, is affixed to the cross of commands. What do I need? Rope, wax, wood, feathers. Wood. Wood. I need wood. No, no. What is just happening right there? I'm trying to go down the stairs. What the heck? Wood. Wood. What is happening? Father, into your hands I can mend my soul. I'm baby. This is the last world we will ever visit. Goodbye, my friend. Can I do this like straight away? Because that would be rad. I can. This is where it's so depressing. Perfect. Nope. Bye. 
Did that work? Nope. It did that time, though. That's pretty neat. Except for the part where I'm building a coffin. Kind of sucks. Is it because I got all the stuff? Oh, thank goodness. Didn't make me watch it again. Maybe it still will. I don't know. I will come down once you've called the other seven children. They want to witness this special moment. Oh my goodness. the grapes. Ooh, they activated for like two seconds. There they are.
No, well that that has things around it. It's this one. Got it. What do I do now? They're all here. Do I go talk to you now? Yeah. Forgive me, Father. I'll prepare for your glorious return to where you were before your fall. Heaven. For this misery you have suffered, my love for you has grown. That is why, on your return and restoration, I will give you much more than I originally gave you before the fall. Salvation. Ah, this is what happens. How do I? What else do I need? Oh, right, 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 right. I need like a. He says I will write them. Some point. What is going on right now? visit me in my world whenever you want. If you come at any time, I shall never know what hour my heart is to beat you. So I'll always be ready to. Rise. Rise into the sky to eternity and beyond. Find a way of keeping him with me. 
Mmm, the fish. I'll make sense now. There it is. That's the good ending. So, overall thoughts of the game. I feel like the game would have benefited greatly if it hadn't leaned so hard into the horror at the beginning. That was my only problem with it. And, th and the reason for that is because then I walk in assuming that the rest of the game is going to be horror the whole way through. And as I recall during the orphanage scene of the game, I literally couldn't stop looking at the orphanage as though it was creepy because I was expecting horror at some point. At any point. There were like several moments where I was expecting like horror and it never happened. There was never any payoff. And so it took away from the story that was being told to me and I never really like absorbed it. And I feel like that's really the only place that this, this game falls and fails is that it, it, it like leaned really heavily into the horror at the beginning of the game and it did a really really good job of it and then it like tell, it tried to tell a story without horror whilst still holding on to those horror elements because they're there because that's part of the story but like there weren't ever really any of the jump scares anywhere and there was never any indication of when jump scares were going to pop up or when they weren't going to pop up or when horror was going to pop up or, I, I feel like it was just kind of poorly executed is what i'm trying to say and, and it led to me not knowing when horror was going to arrive, and so I was constantly on edge, waiting. And then, like, the orphanage scene, for example. I, I don't know if any of this is making any sense. I don't know if the word went off, but, like, like I, I, don't, I don't know if... Yeah, that was, that was my only take on this. It's, like, it's got a beautiful story, very well written. I love this story. But the horror... I feel like the, the story could have been told without nearly as heavy a horror intro as we got but we didn't we didn't need nearly as much horror at, at the beginning as we did so hope you all enjoyed this uh if you did please leave a like share subscribe and check us two videos the insulate the stuff i've done next game we play is uh i don't know but i'll see you there in the next adventure